<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here on the show, and I want to mess with my NFL uh, news for the round to it here. So, first thing I talk about is uh, uh, Mike Greenberg um, talked about um, the Chargers and Justin Herbert, and he said the hashtag Chargers are wasting Justin Herbert's career, who is a quote Hall of Fame talent, according to at ESPN Greeny. Quote, they are wasting the career of a Hall of Fame quarterback, just like they did with Phil Rivers. If he was in Miami with Mike McDaniel right now, dot, 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 end quote. So they both say if he was in Miami right now with Mike McDaniel, they, they wouldn't be wasting his career like the Chargers, is basically what he's saying. They do move the goalposts for this guy, dude. Like, he just can't close games, man. It's, it's just... He's not a big time uh, player. Uh, you know, big time players make big time plays. Is what they say. He he just ain't he just ain't that guy in the in the clutch. He's getting paid fifty two point five million now per season. You gotta come up clutch in those situations, man. Dak getting more hate for a win than her getting a, for a loss. So this guy gets protected by the media so much, man. Uh, does on uh, Justin Herbert. So another thing we'll talk about is Cowboys star linebacker Michael Parsons calls out media members for trashing Dak Prescott. Quote: Why is that we are just scrubs and we're nobodies and we're all taught? There, but there's a hundred excuses for the other teams. I'm tired of people trashing my QB. I mean, we get hyped up every year, just disappoints. Going to the point where it's just like a trend. That's why he gets bashed. But if he can, um, you know, murder, win it this year, maybe. Maybe he can silence critics. So I understand what Mike is saying, but we need to win it at some point. Uh, make an MC title game, win it, or go to the Super Bowl. So the viral Chargers fan, um, Marion Doe, that was showed on the broadcast last night during the Cowboys Chargers game. Um, so people on social media were killing like this poor one because of this photo went around where it showed she was a Vikings fan. But to be clear, even before this picture came out, she told Pat McAfee uh, she became a Chargers fan when they moved in LA in uh, 2017. It's, I don't know why people care so much, honestly. People are lame for really, people lame for, really lame for people to be hanging on a passionate fan. But it's the internet. I mean, I'm not surprised with anything that's on the internet. Uh, but the viral Chargers fan, uh, Marion Doe, was asked about the viral Vikings picture. This, this is what she said, quote, I grew up in Minnesota before moving to California almost 20 years ago, uh, she said. I don't think you have to be a single team fan. I love my Chargers, and I'm not going to deny my Vikings. At the end of the day, yes, I've been a Vikings fan. I've been through that journey as a Vikings fan still, but I'm here in L.A. But I'm here in L.A. for the past 20 years. I mean, I don't know why people care so much, honestly. Uh, who people root for. That's always been my question. Why do people question other people's fandom? I mean, I don't, you don't see me coming up here questioning, oh, why are you a fan of this team when you used to be a fan of that team or whatever? Uh, but per report, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has signed his no contract extension per Kaplan Sports Biz. Uh, he reports that the deal should run through 2027, so another about four or five years of Roger Goodell. I know, I don't know. I don't know if he's that bad as people say. A lot of people were like, boo, when they saw this. I mean, he's a solid commissioner. I'm not going to say he's great, but he's solid. So, update the Cardinals and make it official. They have cut 2022 third round pick linebacker uh, Majai Sanders. 
Um, he had three sacks and five QB hits as a rookie last year, making four starts. Someone will definitely sign him. He was really good out of college. I think, and I think somebody will give him an opportunity. I really do. So, trending. Cowboys linebacker Micah Parsons says he's joining the Olympics flag football team in 2028 and is creating a super team of NFL players to join him. All of our guys need to be on the team. Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, CD. We should run through everybody just like we do in wrestling and everything else. I feel this would be so fun to watch. You can just, you can basically assemble the Avengers. You can uh, just uh, get the Avengers, basically. So the NFL says that, the, that a decision on the next location for an international game for next season between Madrid or Brazil could come in December per Judy Batista. That'd be dope. Brazil would be sick to have a game, you know, over there in Brazil. <laughs> Probably be really early, though, uh, for Eastern time. So, per your report, NFL owners approved on a 32-0 vote the proposal to, to delay in-person head coaching interviews involving candidates employed by the by NFL teams until the <laughs> after the divisional round of the playoffs. After the Super Bowl sounds better because, you know, those, say, those two teams were in the Super Bowl. That they would want to be more focused on the Super Bowl. They're not focusing you know, on that job. They want to get that Super Bowl, go win a Super Bowl. So we had more fights. Uh, the Chargers and Cowboys game had a fight before the game started, and then we had multiple fights going on between fans, and then another big fight uh, happened. Two big fights, I believe. So I don't. So there's just nothing the NFL can do about. It. I know people say, "Oh, the NFL should stop it." Man, there's nothing the NFL can do about it, man. Or they could just ban them from the stadium. For, for life. So an update. Former NFL QB Tom Brady said the league is less and less physical now and it's more like, quote, flag football in his Let's Go podcast. Brady says he understands why fans are frustrated during the games. Quote, there's so many people that want, less, let, want it less and less physical. It's more like flag football, which is going to be in the Olympics in 2028. Maybe football goes to flag football over a period of time. Football's a fickle, physical, fickle, fickle, physical sport. There's a physical element to all this. You throw a 15-yard flag or something, you know, 20 years ago, maybe it wouldn't have been a flag. That affects the game in a big way. Man, I couldn't agree more. I'm just tired of clean hits that get called unnecessary roughness, and then and, and then the, the rough in the passer. It, it just feels like flag football at this point. Fox announced that the uh, hashtag Eagles and hashtag Jets game was the most watched telecast since the um, Super Bowl LV2. LVII, whichever Super Bowl there is, and are part of the nerd community, don't know the Roman numerals. It had an average of 26,000 viewers. Another big ratings hit was the Browns went over the 49ers with 13,858,000 uh, viewers. Well, everyone saw the Eagles at their worst losing that game and the 49ers. So, yes, but the both uh, upsets got some pretty big ratings. So, um, Jay, Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence says he's quite optimistic he'll play week seven against the hashtag Saints. Per my O'Brien TV, quite, I've, been, I've been fortunate to not have any serious injuries, but I pride myself on being a guy who plays, plays through injury, pain, whatever it is. So, he suffered a knee injury against the Colts, but, um, there's a chance he could play this game. He's optimistic. It's, oh, we know he's probably going to play that game. I don't think he's going to be out. A uh, Colts starting defensive tackle Grover Stewart has been suspended six games for violating the NFL's policy on performance enha enhancing substances. And that's really a big loss there because he's really one of the most underrated defensive tackles uh, in the game, in my opinion. So that's a big loss. He'll be back like week 14. Report Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray can begin practicing as early as Wednesday per AZ Bong Mac. Sounds like Murray might return to play this season after all. Per McManaman coach. Jonathan Gannon hinted very strongly that Murray, who has been rehabbing from a torn right ACL, is making enough progress to warrant a return to the football field and begin working his way back into the starting lineup. Yeah, who remembers when the people said Kyler Murray wasn't going to play this season? It's probably going to happen. Because Jonathan Dobbs, his lean sanity runs over. Because he's been pretty bad the last few weeks. Has, uh, has um, uh, Josh Dobbs. So, update, breaking, the hashtag Eagles are signing former Falcons, Buccaneers, and Titans wide receiver Julio Jones. 
Get that thing off the road, bro. Come on, Julio Jones in 2023? Yeah, it's, uh, he, he's washed. He's like 34. He's not good anymore. They lose one game and they go and sign Julio Jones. He's washed. Update, the Aztec Packers are signing former Jaguars Patriots Giants running back James Robinson, per Ian Rappaport. So, he's now a Packer, so what are they going to do now with running back? Because they have three running backs now, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the running back spot. So, the Eagles are signing former Jaguars fourth round pick cornerback Josiah Scott to the active roster for his agency. He's been on the Eagles practice squad this season, so I think it's a solid signing. You need all the help you can get. Um, the Bears are signing former Ravens, Cardinals, Patriots quarterback Trace McSorley to the practice squad, per Salt Report. So they've got Trace McSorley. He's more known for his song. He isn't the solution, man. Trace McSorley, throw it on a dime. So, Lion C.J. Garner is still trash talk, is still talking trash to 49ers wide receiver Debo Samuel, basically saying, well, he's a running back that can't run routes. Don't be friendly when you see me. You can't run routes, you're a running back. They're both hurt. They're about to be fighting in physical therapy. This, this, I don't even know why this happened. Like, this, this is just beef for no reason. The so Jets defense has been great this past se the past two seasons, and a big reason is their pass rush, particularly Bryce Huff, who leads NFL pressure rate since 2022. Jets, um, or Bryce Huff, Rashawn Gary, Michael Parsons, Brandon Graham, and Miles Garrett, the top five in that. Um, so Stephen A. had a silly like take on first take saying. He basically tried to dismiss Tua by saying he's only throwing it like two yards. Terry Kill. Meanwhile, the highlights showed deep touchdown passes, which really bad take by Stephen A. But he's more of an entertainer than an analyst. Eagles wide receiver A.J. Brown takes issue with former Philly quarterback Donald McMahon seem seemingly taking, trail taking by making a Trail Owens comparison. Comparisons. What happened between Brandon and Jalen Hurts and the sideline against hashtag Vikings? I mean, you can't really compare that. 20 hours left tackle Trent Williams says Brandon's defense being Miles Gary is a quote, Hall of Famer to play against him. They've got a Hall of Fame rusher over there in 95. So, yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. Miles Gary's going to be a future Hall of Famer. Um, Texans rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud that said that when he, he and Tom Brady had lunch, it helped him understand the importance of being a good teammate. Brady was like, I just never want to let my teammates in. I was like, man, that's how I am, Stroud. I love kicking it with my boys. Those are my brothers. So, it definitely hit home when he was talking about it. So, man, Tom Brady's a good guy. Former NFL wide receiver Terrellens was reportedly hit by a car after getting in an argument during a pickup basketball game. The person Owens got into it into it with got in his car and drove the vehicle right to his knee. That's pretty crazy, though. He's always getting into it with somebody, man, it feels like. So there's been a lot of talk on Patriots Bill Belichick staying long enough to pass some... Um, Don't show for an all-time win mark, but he's actually a lot closer to having an all-time losing record. He's now eight losses away from losing 165 regular season games, which will tie the record by Jeff Fisher and Dan Reeves. This just shows you how much Tom Brady cover up for his weaknesses. Uh, at least, in my opinion. A free agent running back, Larry Fournette, has interest from multiple teams, but he isn't visiting the hashtag Bills or anyone else today. Lombardi Lenny is in great shape and will be ready to help someone down the stretch. So, yeah, but that, I think that might be it. Any more things, Saints rookie quarterback Jay Kaner returned from his six-game suspension for a PD violation. And then, um, update, the NFL isn't expected to suspend Raven safety. 
Um, Kyle Hampton for his helmet to helmet hit on Sunday against the Titans, and he was ejected from that game, but he's not going to get like suspended or anything. And Deion, Darian Kendrick was arrested in Los Angeles hours before, after the Cardinals game ended, apparently. Uh, they found a gun in his car. It was a traffic violation. Um, he remained in custody as of 2.30 p.m. on Monday. So I, get, I thought somebody would get bailed. He would get bailed out, but I guess not. But, um, yeah. That's really all for this video. So until next time, I like. Peace.